morning. Um, this is the support the NPFL crew show, and um, we have someone uh, we've gone into the rivers, uh, looking at it that uh, we've gone into the deep down to catch the biggest of all fish. Uh, talking about one man uh, who has really paid his due when it comes to coaching in Nigeria. One man uh, we want to know is the current coach of the biggest team. We're talking about the team that just won the Nigerian league uh, just at the end of last season. Talking about Ayimba International of Aba. Yes, uh, the coach is Paul Ibogun. He was with Ayimba before. Now he has moved on to from where he was back to uh, a human international. Well, uh, also, you already look at him. This is a man that has really paid his due as called in the Nigerian League, and we we'll just want to look at the chances of a Yimba on the continent. Of coach. Uh, this is your, you've assembled a lot of players, uh, you've been there before as coach of this thing. Are uh, you prepared uh, for the content assignment? No, I mean, I, I mean we're, we're still working on it. I mean, I, I know it's only a week to go, um, but well, that's another week, but we're, we're still preparing the team. Okay, they'll be ready at the, uh, by the time they get to Congo when they get for the first game, for the first leg, uh, they want to actually prepare themselves. Uh, but looking at it tactically, are you really all satisfied with your campaign, with your players that you have on ground to work with now? Uh, I'm satisfied with the players. Um, obviously, the coach always wants more, but uh, what they have is in battle. So it's just for us to, to come together as a team. At the moment, we're, we're, we're looking at different positions, even though I have my time kind of a team in my head already. But, uh, Okay, you always leave that special space uh, despite when you have the 99% already of the team. But when you look at it, I like this really up to the Super Bowl. Five games gone and where, and where do you think it really, uh, really supports your players, your, your weak points, your strong points so far in the Super Bowl to achieve your goal you desired on the continental type? No, I don't think it's a, I think, you know, coming to Super Bowl, obviously, but not most of the team, not only us, I think a lot of game time is needed for them to come into the game. And obviously, there's a lot of time for new players to come in. I think maybe a team like Nagua, for example, that's going to be a game, maybe we'll get the majority of their players. They haven't, they haven't changed up anything, but I think if you see that there's a need, because we're, we're not looking at the Super Bowl, we're looking at, uh, if you want to play the Super Bowl, we'll just play with one team. A lot better. You look at when we kept the same team two or three games ago, we've done very well. When we change it, sometimes we're looking at flaws. So we're looking at the spot where it's important, but it doesn't mean if you do where you are and don't do where it's not nothing. And if you look at this, this Super Bowl, the teams that won are more than the one that's on the bottom. It has been the teams who last year I think we came second from bottom, we were the worry we were the best team in the continent. The year before, by ourselves, we finished bottom, we were the best team in the continent. So, no, not that you want to finish bottom, but I think it's, it shows that those teams are. Have been planning really what they need to come and not just having the objective of winning the Super Bowl. Okay, the last time Ayimba won the Champions League was far back at 2004 uh, when they won it back to back, 2003 and 2004. Coach, what's your hope for the Continental and the Pond Champions League for Ayimba? Well, I think the first thing is to get over the Pond to win the rain, to go, to go much better than the team did last year. That's the first thing for them to take up. Take it step by step uh, on this note. Let's quickly tell you that uh, this is the best chance that you can have this exclusive interview uh, with the coach of uh, Iba uh, talking about Paul Ayibogun. Uh, well, I, I want to let you go because I know you also have a meeting with your players and for you can just quickly tell uh, your followers there uh, where can they follow you on your Twitter, your, your Facebook page, the one you officially okay. so that at least your fans might want to know, okay, well, that's Paul Ayibogun, uh, Iba's coach. How uh, can we follow him? Where can they interact with you? Yeah. Just tell the whole world. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm leaving that all of this on social media, but on Facebook, there's one, one of my accounts, which is real, so anybody who knows me will find the real one. Okay, when well, anyone who knows me will find the real one. On behalf of the support the NPFL crew this morning, I want to say thank you to uh, Wally Kodri, I'm um, a uh, buyer and a on Shogo Shodunke, also our producer and director, uh, talking about Alodi Akilolu. You can follow us on the support the NPFL and also at support the NPFL on Twitter and our website is www.supportthenpfl.com. My name stream is Olowo Kere Olu website. Follow me at uh, Twitter at Barcelona 24. I'm coach to the show this morning. Yes, and bye bye and God bless you very good. Keep back in the Nigerian NPFL because now I'm pride and our league.